Hey guys, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the X5 firmware update. We've been having some issues updating this thing because the files haven't been there to download, so it just hasn't been updating. So every time we've turned this thing on, it's been saying aircraft not up to date, so we haven't wanted to risk flying it. So we've noticed DJI has finally released the new firmware updates for the X5, so we're going to go ahead and download those. You're going to need a micro SD card a SD card adapter so that you can drop the files in there and extract them. So we're going to record the screen and let's run you through this firmware update right now. Okay guys, so as you'll see on the screen here, we're going to insert our SD card adapter and you'll see it pop up just here. So we're going to go ahead and delete everything that's on that. So we want to delete that so it's clear and there's no other files on there that, you know, we're going to get confused. So, all right, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the DJI website here now. So we just type in DJI and we go to DJI, it's going to be up the top there. So, and we just go to Inspire 1, Inspire 1 Pro. And you're going to see, if we go back up here. Let's go back up here, Inspire One Pro, we've got this new menu on the side here. We just go to Downloads, and this is what we're after. So we've um, we've sort of backdated ours here to the version 1.030 here. So if you're not sure, guys, where your firmware is at with the Inspire One, it's always best to backdate it first. So put the older firmware on first, and then once you've done that, then go to the newer one. So we've already updated to this version 1.0.030. So we're now going to download here with this, the new one, which is the, uh, as of 2015, the 11th 24 there. So that was only a few days ago. So you'll see up the top here, it's already downloaded. It's a quick download. So um, this is it here. I'm gonna make sure we grab the right one, 1 1.00.40. We're gonna drop that there on our screen. We know this um, is empty, so then all we gotta do is drag that into our SD card there. As you can see up the top here, that's really quick. So that's it guys, that's, um, that's pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, we can now Pull this out, make sure we eject it properly so we don't corrupt those files. So now that we've ejected that, we can safely pull out the SD card and now we can start the firmware update. So to now do the firmware update, make sure you have a fully charged battery at 100%, no lower than 50. So if it's at 75%, that will be okay, but you may as well have it at 100%. We always leave when doing the firmware update, the remote controller off. So leave that off, leave it to one side. Pull your SD card out, and we just pull this top section off here, and we insert this card. Okay, so let's go ahead and power it on, and we'll, we should get these sounds. Okay guys, so the sounds have started. We've got a flashing red and then it flashes green. So that indicates the firmware is updating. So, and it's going beep, beep, beep. So it's like a du, 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 du. So that indicates the firmware is updating. So we just leave that for 20 to 30 minutes. I think it's gonna be quicker, but um, we're going to see the lights change from green to red and the sound will also change once it's um, finished updating. So hang out, we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll have a different sound when it's updated. Ok 
Okay, guys. Okay, guys, as you can see, the light has just changed to a solid green, and the beeping noise is a different sound. It's du, 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 du. So that was different to the sound it was making before. So that means we've got a successful firmware update. But we're gonna check that. So we're gonna turn this off now. Turn this off. We're gonna take the card out and we're gonna put it back in the computer and we're gonna check the result and it should say success if it was successful. So let's check that out right now. Okay guys, so we've just pulled the micro SD card out. We've put it in our card reader and we're gonna put it in the side of the computer here now. As you'll see that pop up right there. Double click on that. Let's just exit that. Let's um, let's get that open this way. So we open, and it's gonna be this text one with that says FW underscore result AB tech, um, text. So that's gonna be our result. And as you can see down the bottom here, um, we've got three upgrading. Result, success, result, success, result, success. So that means it was a successful update. So that's it, guys. Once you've done that, your firmware is up to date. You turn your controller on and your status there that comes up is going to say up to date. So that's how you update the new firmware. All right, guys, that was it. To do a final check, we can just power this on. And we've got our remote control on here with the screen on. We can just do a quick check and make sure it is up to date. So let's have a look here. The screen comes up into camera view and this is good. We get no warning so it's all up to date. If, we, if it's not up to date we get a warning so that's good. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Write some comments below if you've had any problems with the X5 firmware update. I really don't like it when DJI rush a product to the market. They take your money, you spend over $2,000 on a camera, you can't use it, it's an expensive paperweight. So finally the firmware updates are out and we can use it now and fly it safely. But yeah, it's, I'm not really a big fan of that to have something for three weeks and not being able to use it. Firmware updates are there, I hope you find it helpful. Write some comments below guys, give us a subscribe and uh, thumbs up. Cheers guys, happy and safe flying, see ya.